Majesty Otofo Osei Tuzu II. Thank you very much. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much for honoring our invitation today. In the first historic national consultative dialogue on small scale mining in Accra, the father of the nation, the president of the republic, Nana Adodankwa Akufado said in a quote, Mining can create jobs. Mining can improve livelihood. Mining can generate wealth. But it cannot and must not do so at the expense of damaging the environment that produces the riches. Now, this quotation is a summation of the reason we have gathered today here at the Great Hall to find innovative ways, to find creative ways to mine and at the same time protect our environment. It's always an edifying experience to be right here at the Great Hall, at the Kwame Kwan University of Science and Technology, and at the same time more privileged to welcome you to the first regional consultative dialogue on small scale mining in the Garden City. It's again with deep sense of gratitude that I welcome our special guests to the second, of course, the king of the Ashanti kingdom. Your majesty is always a delight to see your greatness and with your eminence. A round of applause to our special guests. It is also with pride and honor that I welcome the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, Honorable Samuel Abu Jinapo, MP for Damango, and indeed, it's through his thoughtful initiative that has brought us together once again here at the Great Hall. I also make welcome the Ashanti Regional Minister, Honorable Simon Osei Mensa. Over the years, he has been very tough and resilient in the fight against illegal mining. Again, with modesty, I'd like to welcome the Minister of Environment, Science, 
Technology and Innovation, Honorable Kweku Afriye, MP4, Serioso. Your Majesty, I recognize with humility the Vice Chancellor of our great university, Professor Mrs. Rita Akusia Dixon. By His Grace, the first female Vice Chancellor of the ever progressive, ever innovative university in Africa. I appreciate the presence of the Bono Regional Minister Honorable Justina Ousu Banahin here. Thank you very much, Madam. And I also appreciate the presence of the Bono East Regional Minister Honorable Kwesi Adu Jan. The Honorable Minister for Ahafo, Honorable George. Thank you very much. Members of Parliament, Chairman, Vice Chairman, Ranking and Deputy Ranking Members of Parliamentary Select Committee on Lands and Forestry, Mines and Energy, Environment, we are grateful for your presence here. MMDC's traditional leaders, civil society organizations, various political party representatives, mining companies, organized small scale mining companies and association, our collaborative partners accept the generous recognition of this house. Brofano Asa. Na 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 wadama uti e jomu de na she say nekasa no ye de ba fra fra kakra ye ma ke nusc e hunu hunu ai ye ma great war e hunu hunu ai ye ma tai e hunu hunu ai and na e say ye totwa dwen na adwa ye totwa ni nyina ne se kwampa bempa na e ba fa so a e betimi atu agudie na brekro nu ano ye timi abo ye suwa suwa any quiet, quiet, you know, you are both buying. And you see, none of the forum, you know, you see, you have. And the guy who is back crying, and then they toss me new. Yeah, church charging. Now, you want to know a woman, you know. Ya kabra for ting ting ting. Obu ha no wa drink trepa. And the house na be kon. Even na be kon. Da gumba na be kon. Ni ni na bia no. E beti ati na supam. Na oni me ya adwen wo sakwa no ho su dia. Bo nsam ma wo. Juma ye di enso e ya koma pa. E ya se Ghana e be hihye yie. Na da chi ma enso e beti mi agya adepa e dia ma wo. And Nunti Enna and Yeshemoha. Now, no, so we are come up and a baha. Now we are dream pa and a baha soa. Bonsa moho, sons of Minister Adrian Pa and other by. Now, Major Winso, now Matuminsa, Afre, Reverend. Oh my living God, you are the God of life, and it is in you we live, we move, and have our being. We want to thank and bless your mighty name for the gift of our lives and the gift. as a people and as a nation. Thank you for the life of 
We thank you for the legislature as well as the judiciary. We thank you for the life of our traditional leaders, and we thank you for the life of the king of the Asante Kingdom, the second. We thank you for all that you use our leaders to do for us as a nation to enhance our lives and our development. We want to thank you for the blessing you have bestowed on us as a nation with all sorts of natural resources. As we've gathered here today for this all-important regional consultative dialogue on small-scale mining, we invite your presence to be with us to lead, guide, and direct all for this program will be accomplished. You have asked through Christ Jesus our Lord. JW at Champon for that warm prayers. He is the KNUC chaplain. Production happened in the first consultative dialogue. So let's enjoy the video. how we gather restoration as we secure for ourselves and posterity a land which is green and healthy. On behalf of the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources, and on my own behalf, I welcome the President of the Republic, His Excellency Nana Adodao Kakufuado, and you, distinguished guests, to this historic event, the first of its kind in the history of our nation. Today is a happy day for the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources because we have begun the process of giving effect to the instructions of the President of the Republic, and that is to organize a national consultative dialogue on small-scale mining, out of which, hopefully, we shall come up with a blueprint to resolve the age-old problem of illegal small-scale mining. The holding of this consultation, Mr. President, is critical because the small-scale mining industry contributes over a third of Ghana's gold output. The industry plays a significant role in the local economies of many parts of our country. Since 2017, a bold attempt was made to sanitize the industry. Considerable successes were achieved in this effort, including the training of miners, reviewing, amending, and enacting laws to strengthen the legal and, and regulatory framework of the industry. Community mining was introduced, and we are perfecting it steadily. But government recognizes the complexity of this industry. We recognize that there are lessons to be learned, and there are still a lot more, there's still a lot more work to be done. That is why this national consultative dialogue must be undertaken on the basis of honesty, candor, and with an attitude of constructiveness. We believe and hope that out of the deliberations of this forum, a consensual roadmap can be fashioned out, which should enjoy broad-based national support. The good people of Ghana expect this forum to provide answers to many lingering issues. For instance, Mr. President, how do we effectively regulate this industry? What reforms are required? How do we mobilize finances for the players in the industry? And what should, the, what should be the role of the banks? How do we generate community support 
including the support of our chiefs? How do we deal with the financiers of illegal small-scale mines who put young men into, into mining pits whilst they receive the proceeds of such criminal enterprises in the comfort of their homes and hotels? And in many cases, such persons never visit a mining site in their lifetime. How do we deal with the illegal involvement of foreign nationals in this industry? How do we fashion out alternative livelihoods for those who will inevitably fall out of the cracks? What can we learn from the international community? What kind of enforcement regime is required which bites and does so without fear or favor? How do we name, shame, and punish politicians, chiefs, religious leaders, the elite, and people with money and influence who are promoters of these criminal cartels in this industry? Should we introduce medium-scale mining in the structure of our mining industry? And if so, should foreign nationals participate in medium-scale mining? As we all know, the small-scale mining subsector by law is exclusive to Ghanaians. And it is our firm belief that with the necessary guidance and direction, our entrepreneurs can blossom and become medium-scale and ultimately large-scale miners. For the past decade or so, Communities in the countryside have been inundated with illegal mining and along with it, dangerous ways of processing ore, destroying water bodies and other sources of subsistence. We have experienced how the turbidity of water bodies has negatively impacted the operations of the Ghana Water Company. I wish to state that mining is a serious business which depends on finite resources and should therefore not be seen as a mere social good. It is also hazardous and therefore must be well regulated by ensuring that only trained and suitably certified persons engage in the endeavor. It is my expectation that we will adapt and implement concrete steps that are locally driven and sustainable to make Ghana the beacon of sustainable small-scale mining on the African continent. The sector provides employment to more than one million people directly and indirectly to over four million people. Minerals production from the sector also rose significantly from around 2% at the time of regularization, that is in 1989, to an all-time high, high of 43.14 of the total production for gold in 2018. In 2020, the sector reached in more than $2 billion in forest earnings. Small-scale mining also feed the downstream, that the jewelry industries, with the raw gold for value addition, thereby supporting the creation of opportunities locally. We of the association believe, and we believe firmly, that we can build on the progress made in the past four years, guided by the lessons learned together. The Ghana National Association of Small Scale Mining is therefore ever ready to collaborate with the government and all key stakeholders to implement whatever policies and programs that will emanate from this dialogue to rid the small scale mining industry of illegal activities and to improve sustainable small scale mining. Ghana Fuel, Ghana Fuel, every Mining can create jobs, mining can improve livelihoods, and mining can generate wealth. But it cannot and must not do so at the expense of damaging the very environment that produces the riches. This is the time to help rejuvenate our land, the time to take a careful look at how we use the land, the time to revisit our farming and building practices. That illegal small-scale mining and matters relating to it should be one of such issues requiring national effort. Government has a major responsibility to this end as we are accountable for the stewardship of this sector, as indeed we are of all other sectors of national life. 
I am determined to enforce the laws on illegal mining, no matter the subject, high or low. I will, however, not act on hearsay or mere allegations without more. I think you can do better. Another resounding round of applause. I don't want to cast on in a Premier Minister, the more decorum, when you call the Akadam, and I say, Samino, the Bohobine, and the tea and the who he has said, and there, Isha Moa, say, Air Totra again. Near Corso, I won't cry no. Near Shemukina Pan, I say, You are hoarding, you won't him dear, you are Kumapa, say, I'm pa, you beat me to Sabia, the Baboy, and a boy in Chiba. And he knew a Viawa de Bahanginano, and Yajia, a Yakuapa. Now, Sunday President Kaino, Yamfa, Party Seven, and Tunchen. Resources MP and again the Honorable Deputy Minister designate for Lands and Natural Resources Honorable George Miracle Duka I would also like to acknowledge the presence of the former Deputy Minister for Lands and Natural Resources former minister of tourism and creative arts the honorable member of parliament for Prisia winnie valley honorable barbara ottin jesse i recognize the presence of the mayor of the kumasi metropolitan assembly honorable osei asibe enchi otunfo amahina muanyina so Immobilia Aquaba, Nananum, and the Massipi. I'd like to invite the Honorable Ashanti Regional Minister, Honorable Simon Osei Mensa, to give us the welcome address. Thank you very much, my brother Kwabi. Your Royal Majesty, Otunfo Osei Titu II. The Honorable Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Honorable Samuel Abujinapo. The Honorable Minister for Environment, Dr. Koku Afriye. The Vice Chancellor of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Professor Rita Akosia Dixon. My colleague, regional ministers, University of Science and Technology.
So I pray that all of us as stakeholders uh, and uh, it's a collective responsibility for all of us to ensure that we succeed in this fight. My colleague government appointees, we have to lead and I think any government appointee who is found engaging in illegal mining must be dealt with with the highest level of sanctions. We cannot go against the principles of the press. Policies of our own government. If Osemensa is found in the practice of illegal mining, he should be named and shamed. If we take the lead, I'm sure we will definitely succeed. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I take this opportunity to welcome all of you to the first regional consultative dialogue on small scale mining here in Kumasi. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful to you all. Thanks. Former resources, works and housing, the MP for Asutifi Dauda. Another round of applause. Sir, Honorable Collins Dauda Wahadia, I go for my Mr. Mwa and from Kakra, now on Kanichi. Shall we enjoy? with all kinds of people involved. All kinds of methods, some overt and others covert, are employed. It has a tendency to corrupt all kinds of people and institutions. But this is about the preservation of our environment and ecosystem. It is about the welfare of generations unborn. It is about the survival of our country. It is without a shred of equivocation about Ghana. The resolve of President Akufuado is total and unflinching, and we cannot afford to waver 
at any stage of the ongoing crusade. Distinguished guests, humbly, I will want to submit strongly my view on the ongoing debate on the decommissioning and demobilization of excavators used for mining. When a country is confronted with extraordinary problems, extraordinary measures ought to be deployed. The use of excavators for mining on our river bodies is an extraordinary problem which requires extraordinary measures to deal with it. Your Majesty Nana Santehini, Honorable Ashanti Regional Minister, colleague Ministers of State, Leadership of Parliament, Presidents of Regional Houses of Chiefs, Nananum, Madam Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, on behalf of the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources and myself, I reiterate our unwavering commitment to get on with this national crusade without fear or favor. Blind to partisan political coloration, blind to status in society, and with an absolute dedication to integrity. Together and with God on our side, we must and will preserve our environment. May God bless us all, and I thank you. Another round of applause for the sector minister. Honorable Samuel Abu Jinapo, Minister for Lands and Natural Resources. And uh, I remember vividly the first time that he met His Majesty Otun for Osage to the second. And that delegation was led by engineer Nana Upuku Ajiman, also here. Uh, they were all students. I remember that. So, Honorable, thank you very much. And indeed, you are precise on the issue that there's a way forward, and that commitment should be generated in our hearts. And we believe that when we put our strength on that, we will achieve something sustainable for this country. At this point in time, I'd like to invite Akusika from Poma. Akwada <laughs> Midiana na na akusika from Palma. Send a midina ha. Na me be kasa afa galam se ho. Hey, asembe ne si se chire jamasi ametu mpanya chene da wurum penten tu wa sepre wa prempen su wana ya. Na na nom eni ata koko wa. Apem so na se tu tu wa bebio. O si breke te eti breke se o ti prukusu. Ben ma ba ay dini jina kasa mbrebe poso tu bo ponto penkro. Ben ma ba ay dini jina kasa mbrebe poso. Debida, wasare waka, efrisem mofrei, 
ene yen dache ye de mo fren na ebe chi chi kure na se yen nyina ye to yani kodi sika chi a na gana ebe si den afanin to ma perfra ekua fo nso su o ekua fo su o mo se galam se e se ye nuane galam se e se ye nsase ye nya nuane o na se wo kwe ani nya aduane a be si den sen ene techrema e di kasubom we ene asante hene o pem so na se ti tua bebi o se debi min kama nuntum efi sa fredriane ne de ne nya men komeyem me sore waka ama me man gana empanyine so ne kaaye ye se o che hene ana se o che de se konkron ontena bremu ho emfa ntasuo enwo hro ne nsa eno enema otumfuo eno so na ma ye president o man panyine na na do dan kwa ekufo ado ese da bi na se ye se brema besiden impo ntasuo no kra dia hohro ye nsa wono so se gana ba ensa dansa yem kutu jogu fom muma ye njai galam se ya papa jina ponso se muma ye nyina ye njai galam se na gana emfa ne ntoma pemfra ewo mse gana ye nyina ye ya shemfra wo bia du ye mu ashemfre enso abo apatu prese owo ho onima na ye mani de ye yenim munsusu ma ye nyen shehan ema kwesi kokko emeji ye na sasem moso emfa nkwa ye ne man ye na se gana bo a mini wo mienu ehe na ye kwotena gana ba ye nyina ye mfa koma pa entai opem so na se titu abebi echi na gana ntumi enkoso na gana mfa ne ntoma pemfra enka kranka kranka kokodi no munsu de ye na nsu mpanyi ni se kuku omunsa ye ka ye triboma ebe makro no ayekese e dia moma ye nsare waka ensu galam se ase gana ba ko gana ye be ko ejina amayamai manuesi medamwase from poma a student at the university of gara legon <laughs> always cheerful, always adorable a student at the University of Ghana Legon, Akusika Frempoma. Thank you very much for that warm poetry. Thank you so much. Over the last four years, Government of Ghana, under the leadership of His Excellency Nana Adudanko Akufado, has invested huge resources, political and socio economic capital, to arrest the disastrous effects of small scale mining. And today, we are here to continue this story. I'd like to recognize the presence of Honorable Rashid Pelpo. If you are here, Honorable Rashid Pelpo. Thank you very much. And of course, all the members of the region. Thank you. Okay, the police, and of course, the region, all the members of the council. One or say, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, time for the keynote address. And the keynote address will be presented to us by His Majesty Otufo Osei Tutu II. A round of applause.
To be our trousers, as you are the Egalam Sabi, or so for the wire bonnet. So, who call and pass out there as I see, I must say, and Egalam say now. So, air bonnet. So, and see, mommy and we, and Ramuka, some mamma, come, me, because I'm a become, me can't send me back or fast my venti, me, Jayanama. So, 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 distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I believe strongly that everybody has been recognized, therefore, I don't need to go through that. So, I'm pleased to be here to deliver the keynote address to formally open the second national consultative dialogue on small scale mining. The maiden one, having been opened in Accra last month, by His Excellency President Nanado Danko Ekufuado. So. Honorable Minister, Nanano Vice Chancellor, our host, at the onset, let me assert that mining is older than Ghana and has been for centuries one of the main pillars of ancient economies and kingdoms such as mining and mine. So. Gold continues to be a major heritage of Asantiman and it's a third concern. In Kumase. So, this young man has shown passion and commitment to sanitize this sector. Yeah. We have to give him maximum support to ensure he succeeds in this undertaking. Yeah. So, Sure. I say this because I know he will have a position, even from his own party. Sure. Honorable Minister, since, I, since this dialogue which provides a forum for openly discussing how to streamline and rein in what has predominantly become an illegal activity, notwithstanding its potential for great good, 
I will share some thoughts on mining and its topical subsector of small scale mining in the context of our development process. So, small scale mining is legal under the regulatory framework of Ghana and has grown over the years to the point where, as at the end of 2019, I'm told it is estimated to have contributed at least 40% or more of Ghana's total gold production each year. So, the small scale sector serves as a source of employment for some of the youth in mining communities across the country, and the evidence further indicates that a significant number of such youth migrate from other parts of the country to peddle in the activity. So, however, the small scale mining sector is fraught with quite a number of challenges given the thin line between it and illegal mining, so, commonly known as Galamse. So, these challenges, which are severely impacting the economic situation in Ghana, include degradation of lands and forests, thereby creating significant environmental liabilities, pollution of rivers and water bodies, use of mercury in processing the ore for gold, thereby creating public health and safety concerns, given its carcinogenic nature. So, conflict between illegal miners and large-scale mining companies. Example, attacks on security personnel of mining companies as well as the police. Encroachment on the concessions of large scale mines, thereby reducing their mineral reserves and associated mine life. So, national security and public safety risks, given that some illegal miners are armed and sometimes utilize illegally acquired explosives in their activities. So, Let's not go through formal channels for reason the government no royalties and taxes from them. So, clearly, Galam said, as illegal mining is referred to, is unsustainable, unacceptable, and must be stopped. So, myself and Asante Man are publicly opposed to anything which destroys our environment and ecosystem, thereby posing a potential threat to the survival of our communities. So, the theme, sustainable small scale mining for national development is therefore very appropriate and all inclusive enough to bring all of us from all shades of political power, social and economic status who want the transformation of the small scale mining sector from just a potential to actual positive catalyst for development. So, and I'm glad I've seen my son Colin Dada, Dan, Dr. Bebo, and all the people here all contributing to this. Uh, Dialogue. Sure. This thing we guess, ladies and gentlemen, with our nation having been blessed with so many minerals, it is not surprising that mining has always played an important role in our lives, where our minerals have been the attraction for many adventurers and fortune seekers for centuries. So, mining has been an important undertaking throughout the history of mankind, being a necessity to our very existence. So, not just an indulgence to satisfy our thesis or our curiosity. Everyday life is dependent on the minerals extracted from underneath the earth. Today, beyond the adornments of Nananum and which properly so distinguish them as the custodians of our cultural setting, most of the other things that we use, ranging from the smartphone smartphones we own to the coins we spend, and the wires that carry the electricity we consume emanate from metal that have been mined. The mining industry of our country plays a critical role in our economy, providing considerable job opportunities, directly or indirectly. So, but we now need to look beyond the contribution of a mining sector, mainly in terms of fiscal benefits to the economy. Optimally integrating the sector with the rest of the economy would catalyze Ghana into accelerated economic development through opening avenues for adding value to the minerals extracted, creating feedstock for the agricultural, industrial, and services sectors, and therefore enhancing the local content of the industry as well as developing and expanding usage of shared infrastructure across sectors. So, I expect government to facilitate this process with industry players and other stakeholders taking a key supporting this development over the ensuing years. 
Sure. And this, I also want my university to be involved. Sure. The second state, ladies and gentlemen, I will be the first, noting the pre-thought of our forebears, to uphold the rights and duties of small state mining, which is done properly and responsibly so, within the legal framework. Very important, it should be designed to address the needs of mining communities and enhance their benefits therefrom. It is my expectation that the community's interest would indeed be the key focus and not some other interest. So, the focus for this is on small scale mining. Small scale mining subject has the potential to contribute to livelihood, empowerment, and the poverty allocation of people in our local communities and beyond. So, however, in recent times, we have all witnessed the unprecedented destruction of arable land for agriculture, forest reserves, and our water bodies through illegal mining activities using sophisticated equipment and machinery. Often in partnership with foreign nationals and criminals, criminal cities who have no interest in our development. Often, the structure and operations of the sector are more complex than meets the eye. So, the president on his own, and indeed, government alone cannot fight to win this war. It should be an all hands on deck initiative, with all stakeholders, all of us, playing our part. It is in this slide that I support the call of the, of the President through his parliamentary address on 4 January 2021 for a broad based national engagement on managing the sector. And I'm happy to hear that the maiden national dialogue in Accra during 14th and 15th April was very successful, yeah. creating the key factors that need to be taken on board. Yeah. It is crystal clear that we can inadequate enforcement of laws, dominant mining was identified as one of the key gaps that need to be addressed to turn the fortunes of the subject around. So, this falls squarely on the lap of the government, and I'm happy that my son, the Minister for La Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, has assured me that he, with the support of his colleague ministers, MPs across the political divide, public and civil servants will lead the crusade to right this wrong. So, wrong is wrong, irrespective of who commits it. And right is right. The mining situation is clearly complex and requires a carefully thought through multi stakeholder approach if Ghana is to succeed in bringing it under control. The following are some proposals that, I, that could be considered in this effort exploration. The gold mining process starts with investment in exploration so as to delineate the mineral results. However, most small-scale and illegal miners do have the funding to invest in such a process and would often encroach on the concessions of large-scale miners in conducting their mining act activities. So, to address this, I propose that a special fund to needed investments in exploration activities along the gold belts of the country so as to better define such mineral resources and also identify new areas for purpose of mining. So, the Minerals Commission, in conjunction with the Geological Survey Authority, should identify and bring fence land banks within the mining districts of the country exclusively for small-scale mining purposes. <laughs> this should hopefully reduce the current competition between large-scale and small-scale miners for mineralized real estate. The capacities of the Minerals Commission and the Environmental Protection Agency should be urgently enhanced and adequate resources provided to enable them effectively regularize and regulate the activities of small scale miners to ensure compliance with, with regulatory requirements as well as sustainable mining practices. In this regard, with the exception of properly designed alluvial mining operations, mining near rivers and water bodies should be banned. Secondly, in accordance with the Minamata Convention to which Ghana is a significant, the use of mercury for gold processing should be banned given its toxicity to the human health and the environment. So, this should then be replaced with training and capacity building for small scale miners on less dangerous means of gold recovery. So, 
Just now, safety and sound environmental practices should be critical aspects of small scale mining going forward. So, as is the situation for large scale mines, reclamation and rehabilitation of mined out areas should be a key aspect of small scale mining operations and renewal of such licenses should be contingent on effective land reclamation. So, this is to ensure that the environmental to date is contained while efforts are made to address the liability of the medium to long term uh, medium to long term issues. So district assemblies through their district mining committees have an important role to play in ensuring effective monitoring of small scale mining activities in the county. So to this end, DC is as chairperson of District Security Council should be held directly responsible for situations of illegal mining within their respective districts. They no. will ensure that, in collaboration with the regulatory authorities, small scale mining is effectively monitored so it is done in compliance with the required practices and regulatory framework. And, no. and then illegal miners also can be stopped. No. Large scale mines should work with NGOs and other relevant organizations in rolling up alternative livelihoods programs within the mining communities on which they operate. This is a on the negative impacts of illegal mining, as well as its unsustainable nature. So, such interventions to reduce the number of young people who engage in illegal mining by, by giving them, them safer means of livelihood, for example, for example vocational, vocational skills. skills. So, on my part, I have already warned my chiefs and elders against participation in such illegalities. I will not hesitate to strongly sanction any such infraction. The need to actively import traditional authorities in this effort is absolutely imperative for they continue to be the custodians of our communities and across the country. Sure. We should we go should beyond be paying lip service to traditional authorities as custodians of our communal land and seriously and actively engage them in this collective crusade. For example, the current system whereby licenses for concessions are given up before consulting traditional authorities is dysfunctional and must be revised. Sure. It is my considered view that it will be most prudent to consult traditional authorities before licenses for concessions are given out. Sure. Does it not make a mockery when the constitution says the minerals and the president is in charge of the minerals on the earth, but when you're going to mine the the mineral, you go through the land that belongs to the chief. Sure. So why doesn't he have a right to know who is doing that? Sure. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I urge all stakeholders to commit to upholding this tenet of equity by supporting where you have to, putting pressure where you have to, monitoring and taking action where you have to, sure. if we are to make headway in winning the fight against illegal mining in making small-scale mining a true instrument of sustainable national development. Jump. Legal small-scale miners should be engaged in the discussions on the search for solutions to the challenges posed by illegal miners. Mr. Minister, you need to engage them. They know them. Jump. If you ask the, if you ask the small-scale miners, they know the illegal miners. Jump. Sit them down, get the Minerals Commission to give you a list of all the registered small scale miners. Jump. Let us do a comprehensive search over there. Jump. And get the security and others to map out where they are. All others outside this are illegal miners, and therefore Jump. we can arrest them. Jump. Greed, no. greed, dishonesty, and hypocrisy ought to be jettisoned in this crusade. No. We require bold, honest, and frontal leadership in this sector. No. 
Honorable Minister, I expect that in this respect, the deliberations of this consultative forum will frankly discuss, explore, and reinforce the best ways to control illegal mining activities while promoting and supporting legitimate and responsible mining in Ghana. Sure. You a successful dialogue, and you can continue to count on my support and that of our Santi Mai. And now, formally, open the second national consultative dialogue on small scale mining. I thank you for your attention. Jump, jump, jump. Another resounding applause for the king. Your Majesty, we are always enriched by your wisdom, by your courage, truthness, and that deep sense of commitment for national development. Your Majesty, we are grateful for that wisdom. Thank you very much. Happy Stadium and all the senior colleagues here. We thank you. <laughs> Your Majesty, we thank this as a pledge to mine responsibly and, of course, to protect our environment. Honorable <laughs> I'd like to invite the regional chief imam, Sheikh Abdul Mumin Harun, to give us a closing prayer. Shall we welcome 
the regional chief imam Sheikh Abdul Mumin Harun. Galam say no so, Sir Embabio, and I'm Sir Enani da, when I'm coupon the pair Empire by Air Bono, Chiriano Magalam say no inquiry yet, Nanya sit in Afa. Allah, whom I yes, Rulana, Umurana, Maaratil Kulubina, Wabdanina, or Salah, Matiwal Afia, if you dinner or Duniana, Wakretina in Nakala Kulinshenka. to recognize the presence of lawyer Gabi Asari Ochri Dakon. Gabi for shots. Yeah, with us. Accompanied by the wife, Mrs. Asari Ochri Dakon. A round of applause for lawyer Gabi Asari Ochri Dakon. Your Majesty, we would like to say a big thank you for all the things that you've done to us. How you've been able to cultivate our brain and how you've been able to encourage us to continue with the dialogue on mine. We thank you so much. And we'd like to say a big thank you to you, the Honorable Minister. I thought I was the only one who the script. Don't no, 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 no. even command the king to stick to the script. Honorable, that was wonderful. The Honorable Ashanti Regional Minister, always fantastic and affable. We thank you so much, Honorable Kukwe Friye. We thank you so much. And of course, the Vice Chancellor of the greatest university in Africa. Our 
as the king moves to the exhibition center. We thank you very much. But we will continue for the second part.